Hello, it is I, A.R. Smart, and yeah, it's time for the reading comments for the month of November, and I know it's December now. Look, I'm running a bit late, alright? It's, it's, it's when it gets into the frickin' Christmas time now, and it's like, dude, I got all this stuff, like, I gotta put up these Christmas decorations still. So I'll, I'll probably just be doing that in the background while we read comments, because we... I got so much stuff to do, man. It's like, it's it's December already. I got all this stuff. I got like the advent calendar set up now. I got this going on. Got that going on. And I gotta get presents for everybody. And all the Christmas songs are on now. It's, I mean, they've been on for a month. But now I can actually listen to them. And it's like, oh, great. It's, it's you know, the Christmas song for the 500th time. Wow, I love that all the same artists do the same songs. I'm just getting so cynical, guys. Let's just freaking read comments, okay? But seriously, though, this, this, uh, this month has been great. Uh, it's, I mean, by, by great, that's a bit of an uh, understatement, because holy crud, this has been the best month the channel has ever had, it's, it's been crazy good, I mean, mainly that, uh, one video with Palpatine I can did really well, but also just pretty much all the videos where I do the funny memes are going good, so big surprise, I, the, the videos I have the most fun with are doing really great, which is really awesome, so thank you for all, for your support, and again, for all the new people, welcome to reading comments. This is a video where I read comments. Not all the comments, because that would be hours long, but just most of them. I, I, I like that. I, I cherry pick the ones that I like, so not even most of them. Just, just some of the comments, because holy crud, there's a lot of comments. Like this one. This is our first comment today. The IR Smart Lord Rose. This is setting up the robot takeover arc that will take place a few years from now. Yeah, so YouTube just has these emails, they update me on stuff, and one of them just, just had this line. It was like, we're using AI to create new creative features to help you out. It's like, why? I don't want you to use AI. Why didn't you ask me about this, YouTube? Why don't you ask us about any of the decisions you make? You just tell us you're doing stuff. And this is just the same. It's like, why? Like, you just remove dislikes, and now you're saying we're just going to use AI? What does that mean? Like, I saw that, like, like, both Bing and Google now have, like, little AI bots. It's like, why do I need an AI to search, like, how to, how to, like, I, I could just type it in and look it up myself. I don't need an AI to give me an answer. Just give me the regular search results. What were you using before? Why do you need to use an AI for everything now? It's so annoying. Anyway, does the hat still fit? I think, I got this a couple years ago. I basically, like, because, you know, normal Santa hats are made for normal heads. But I had to get a, a Santa hat that fits my Stormtrooper helmet. I got to get this custom made. It was expensive, let me tell you. But I think it was worth it. Look at this thing. This is cool, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, we'll put the smaller one there. Okay. I was hoping that you would just be that skeleton the whole episode. I was quickly disappointed. Ah, yes. I was a skeleton in the last reading comments video. If you missed it, go watch it. It was a good time. It was the Halloween special. Um, yeah, I turned into a skeleton. I, I kind of, like, it would have been fun to do my skeleton voice the whole time. <laughs> I love doing a skeleton voice. It's so funny. I've just never really had a video where I had an excuse to do it. So I'm like, Halloween, I can do the skeleton voice. <laughs> I'm a skeleton. It's just, it's just so silly and fun. So, you know, my skeleton's up in the attic again, you know. I mean, I, I literally have a skeleton in my attic, guys. I know, crazy. Uh, but yeah, so it's just, it'll come back down next October, because that's what the skeleton's for. I don't know if you guys know this. I like to keep the skeleton in, like, my car. Uh, it's really funny, because the people are like, ah, and it's like, oh, it's, that's a plastic skeleton, right? And I'm like, yeah, of course. Of course that's a plastic skeleton. I wouldn't have a real skeleton in my car. That'd be weird. No. So then he's just there when I'm driving around. People are like, oh, that's weird. So if you ever see someone driving around a car with a skeleton on the side and driving around with a stormtrooper on it, that's me. IR Ken may be the only one who can stop the spread of early Christmas music. Yes. Thank you for calling me IR Ken. That's kind of funny. Uh, um, I'm not wearing the Ken hoodie right now, but I, it's, it's in my closet. Uh, anyway, do you guys know how to use... Do you guys know how to use these things? These, like, they're like they're little tags. You, like, have to peel the thing. You have to, like... Because I'm going to hang up all these lights. Where am I going to plug these in? I got a lot of stuff to figure out. We're going to we're gonna figure it out during this video. But anyway... Mariah Carey escaped containment in early October and has steadily been gaining more power each time her music is played. And then I mentioned she can control the weather. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking about this earlier. Like, Mariah Carey literally does not have to release anything. Like, she doesn't have to do anything for the rest of her life. She could have released no other music other than All I Want For Christmas Is You, and that would have been enough. Like, holy crud, does she make so much money off that song. And, like, why do they play it so much? I gotta hear, like, every friggin' day in December. It's like, I hate it. It's so annoying now. I used to like the song, but it's only been like a few years that I'm just already so sick of it. Hearing it all the time, every freaking year, every da. Your father was the best pilot in the galaxy. Not even the IRS could catch him and force him to pay taxes. Yeah, the, the Obi-Wan commits tax evasion. That was a fun video, I thought. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, but yeah, so so Obi-Wan, he, he commits tax evasion. I don't think my Obi-Wan voice is that great, nor do I think my Luke voice is that good. Good. Well, to be fair, I don't think most of my voices are that good, besides, like, Palpatine being kind of good. Anyway, uh, but I, I still think it's fun, and I want to do more characters. Because, like, all my videos are just Palpatine and Anakin, and, like, that's good, but I want to do other characters. 
Except I can't do Padme. I, I, I don't know. I, I, the, the most recent video with, with Padme and Anakin, that was just funny. I had the perfect idea for a video, but I was like, well, I can't do a Padme voice. I'm just going to do it anyway, and that'll be fine. And it wasn't fine. I always found it funny how Palpatine called it a legend, yet only two people know about it at a time. Yeah. So, again, I, I freaking love the video. Uh, again, this, this, the fun fact, the inspiration for the, the Ren the Sith of Anakin was smart. I was rewatching old videos, and years ago I made, like, like, when I first got my green screen, which was years and years ago, I did a video where I was, like, green screen myself into that scene, sitting next to Palpatine and being like, dude, this story doesn't make any sense. And that was fun, so I was like, what if I just do that again, but change the premise so it's just Anakin and Palpatine talking. So it's, it's pretty much the same video, a lot of the same jokes, but yeah. No, but seriously, though, I thought that was a fun video, and I did enjoy it, and it's just like, I get so many comments on this one, right? I, we'll probably see more of them later. But then there's people just be like, haha, this is so funny. But then people be like, oh, well, actually, the reason that Palpatine said blah, 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 it's like, dude, it's a meme. Why are you analyzing the meme I made? Dude, what the heck? Okay, I've got, I've got a power outlet back here. I think if I run the lights along this wall somehow, then I can get them over to this wall, which is where I want, because I want it to be in the background of the video. And then it, like, goes over there to that side of the room. And, um... You guys following? This is very important. You, you guys gotta help me here. I, I have two strings of lights. I think that'll be enough. Should it like... I think it should go like down there and then like... Around the... Or... I'll figure it out. I don't know. The idea that the whole Jedi Order was created as a tax loophole and then just sort of got out of hand is really funny to me. Yeah. So, again, it, this is just like... I, I kind of thought like... Do the Jedi pay taxes? They probably don't pay taxes. So yeah, that was... That was kind of the inspiration for that video. And also just the fact that I've always found it funny how Ben, the whole one, just is like, oh, I'm Ben Kenobi now. Like, dude, you didn't even change your last name. <laughs> Why would he do that? It's like, oh, it's, it's, it's just so silly. I've always found that, even like the first time I watched Star Wars, I'm like, Ben Kenobi is Obi-Wan Kenobi? Why? Why? That doesn't make it, he just changed his first name. I've always found it silly, so that's why I made that video. Oh, here's another one of these comments. I get people who are like, oh, Obi-Wan would be paying his taxes to the Huts and not the Empire since he lives on, dude. It's a meme! It's a meme about Obi-Wan evading his taxes! Why are you getting into the freaking like, oh, because the Empire doesn't blah, 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 blah. It's a meme, dude. I put freaking impact font on it. It's a meme. God, I'm getting so sick of Star Wars fans. Like, I get it, you lore and stuff, but like, ah. I need to just like, only make meme videos, because like, every time I make, I will put, we'll see it later in this video, but like, anytime I make anything, talking about my, my opinions on Star Wars, or talking about the lore of Star Wars, it's just like, ugh. Uh, why is everyone gotta be so annoying? Uh, it's late but never too late. Pretty funny video. Yeah, you see, I I I want to highlight this comment. This guy just like found one of my videos. I didn't even know how old that one is. A Stormtrooper's daily routine. That's like years and years ago. And yeah, that was a pretty funny video. It was basically a parody of like all these people who are like, oh my daily routine. I work up super early and work out. Dad like, oh I gotta eat all this food and you know this. So like, dude, no one cares. So I made a parody of those and that was fun. Oh, this is great. I love the videos. Keep it up. I'm currently on 2 hours, 21 minutes, and 24 seconds. Yeah. Guys, remember when I made a video talking about Star Wars for, like, 3 hours? That was like 2 years ago now. Dang. That was crazy. I only took like 2 breaks. That was impressive. I don't know if I could do that today. I'm like an old man now. I'm 21. Like, dude, I, I, my bones are creaking. I got lumbago. Dude, I, I, got, I got so much stuff going on. Dude, I'm like, I feel so old. I love the annual Christmas rants. You're completely right with how Christmas has become too commercialized. Plus, it puts way too much stress on people, and the longevity of it always makes me not excited when Christmas year, uh, when it actually gets close. All the fall of corporations trying to make as much money as possible. Yeah. Dang it, there's a burned out bulb! But, but yeah, though, it's just, I don't know. I, I, I've grown so cynical about Christmas just overall. I, I still enjoy it, because, you know, I still enjoy putting up lights when they work and, and all that stuff. You know, I, I, I still enjoy the season, but it's just like... It's just so annoying seeing it all over the place. It's like, I get it. It's Christmas. It's like, okay. I get it. I don't know. I, I just get kind of annoyed. Oh yeah, so I did this fun poll. I said, who would win the Star Wars? And I had Dexter, Jetster, FN2199, Rick the Dork Technician, and Max Rebo. Basically, I just chose the most random Star Wars characters I could think of. Rick the Dork Technician won. I should have saw that coming. Um, but basically, I'm just so sick of seeing, like, who would win in a fight, like, like, but they picked just, like, Darth Vader versus Darth Revan, so cool characters, like, dude, no one cares. So I just made a poll, like, who would win the Star Wars, so just, just to be silly. Everyone knows about Padme, you idiot. <laughs> Funny, and yet 100% true. Yeah, it really does feel like that, because, like, Obi-Wan knew, Captain Rex knew, I think Ahsoka, like, like, dude, everyone knew. 
And still Anakin's like, oh, my secret wife, nobody knows about her. So again, that's another joke I love to make because, ah, prequel cool writing. It's so fun to make fun of, I, I swear. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's, let's hope this string of lights isn't burned out because the other one is, and I don't feel like checking all the bulbs. Yeah, I, I don't got the time for that, man. Your delivery of just shut up and listen to the story, Anakin, had me in stitches. Also, good job with Palpatine voice and accent. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. Uh, again, I don't think it's that great. Because I think I've said this before, it's just a mix of like trying to do an actual Ian e e McDermott voice and then just doing the Robot Chicken Palpatine funny voice. So I kind of go back and forth with it. I'm not really consistent. Or I don't know, maybe I am. Maybe I'm downplaying how good I am at it. I don't know. I, I just think it's it's fun. I, I, I do it because it's fun. I, I don't think I'm like crazy good or anything. I also see some people say like, oh, you should be a voice actor. I'm like, maybe? I don't I, I don't think I'm nearly talented enough to be a voice actor. Because like, where I, the, the stuff voice actors do is kind of crazy. Like all the yelling and stuff they gotta do. So, I mean, I yell a lot. I don't know if I could do it in a talented way. I don't know. Oh yeah, I learned Photoshop. Yeah, that was fun. I made this photo. Uh, if you don't get the reference, that's fine. You probably you probably don't need to worry about it. Um, jeez. Oh, uh, but, but yeah, seriously though, I, I don't know if you noticed, my most recent thumbnails have been for the most part made in Photoshop. Why is the camera frozen? Why is the camera frozen? Why is everything going wrong in this episode? Okay, okay, we're back. Holy crud. Anyway, I was just saying something about Photoshop. Yeah, I learned I learned Photoshop, guys. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. I don't know everything about it yet, but the most recent thumbnails, I, I've been using it to make those, and I think they turned out pretty good. So yeah, loved your first video on this game. Made me want to get it to myself. Love the content. Yeah, I just wanted to replay Republic Commando, and I was like... This is fun. I made a video on it like over a year. It's been again. It's been, it's been a while. So I was like, eh, I could do another video on that and probably make it better because the original was on my laptop and the quality was not great. <laughs> so now that's on my PC, I'm like, I figure the video will be a bit higher quality. Okay, we we have lights. They are they seem to be all working. Okay, we got we got one string of lights that's working at least. Okay. Um, I love how Palpatine desperately tries to follow the script. He's like, I've been rehearsing this monologue and you keep asking good questions, stop it. Yeah, that was another fun thing about the video is just... I, I don't know, that's a thing I did. I don't know if you guys noticed if you watched the video, but I tried to have Palpatine keep going back to the same script, even though he kept going off it, so... It was a fun thing that I did in that video. I don't know, how to, I don't even know how to comment. I'm like, I'm trying to do lights, I'm trying to record video, trying to do commentary. I got so much going on at once, guys, holy crud, this... Dave Filoni is obsessed with wolves, you say. Hiroshi likes the wolves at our zoo in Munich. Wolves are near perfect creatures. Okay, kind of a weird comment. But hey, uh, Hiroshi the dog is is a, is a member on our channel. Not the first one. The first member like never said anything in comments, so I never got to mention him. And um, I actually don't remember his name. Sorry. Uh, but, but Hiroshi the dog is a member, as you can see by the little thingy next to his name, my name. So yeah, join membership. There's still a thing. You don't have to if you don't want to. Dude only cares about lightsaber battles and cool moments. He'd probably be tolerable if Ever Other Bulb wasn't a Disney bad video. He should just stick to reading the Wikipedia and stealing that for content. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, I, I made this video about Star Wars Theory, right? And, um, I kind of regret it, honestly. Like, like I, I think it was still a decent video, but a lot of it, what I was, was just kind of like, oh, look at him, he did this thing, it's stupid, and I don't like the way he does this. It's like, I don't know, it, it, it really just felt like me complaining about him and just kind of sinking down to his level of being like, oh, this is stupid, this is stupid, dude, dude, dude. I don't know. Uh, maybe that's just me. Maybe some of you are like, no, it was a great video, but I, I did get a lot of people hating on me, which I expected. I expected his fans to be like, you're an idiot, but th then it's like, there were some good points made against me, so I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I just, I could have done better, is what I think. I, 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 I don't like that I made that video. I think I couldn't do better, and I don't really want to make drama content. I don't want to start drama. I don't want to be that, so I don't know. Does that make sense? I, I just, I kind of regret that video, but I think it was all right. Oh, and then I got a comment saying, uh, this could have been on Robot Chicken, and I replied saying, I don't know if you realize how much of a high praise it is for me. Dude, the Robot Chicken Star Wars, I love so much. I've watched them all. I love them all so much. They're so funny. I mean, that's a big inspiration for the way I do Palpatine in my videos. Um, but yeah, it's, it's so funny. <laughs> um, so to have someone say that this was, like, Robot Chicken quality, that was, that was big for me, because I find those so funny, and that's trying to, what I'm trying to emulate. Because I always thought, like, I, when I saw this, I'm like, there needs to be more of this. This is so funny. So I'm just like, why don't I make more, you know? I don't know if that makes sense, but I, I love those videos, and I want to make more of them. Okay, guys, slight problem. I realized I only have three command strips left, and I got to do that whole wall still. So, let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah, so this guy, um, he pointed out, like, every single grammatical and, like, spelling error I made in my video. Because, like, a few people showed that they, like, or commented, like, oh, you spelled afraid wrong, and I was like, ah, darn. 
But this guy pointed out, like, every single one. And I was like, dang, I screwed up a lot. So then I was like, I, I tried to do better in the more recent videos. But I still, like, made it, I don't know. So, the weird thing is, though, is I saw this guy, like, commenting on other people's comments, correcting their grammar in their reply. So, dude's just a grammar Nazi, I guess. I don't know. But it's just, like... I don't know. I, I, I care about that stuff. I try to make that stuff good, but it's just difficult because like when I'm typing in the video editor, when I text, put the text on there, there's no spell check. I'm just... <laughs> it just shows me how, how like uh, uh, used, used I've gotten to just using spell check on like Word and texting and everything. So yeah, I got to do better, I guess. Happy to see you move on from Ray, Lamal. Yeah. Um, I mean, I moved on from Ray a while ago, so it's, it's kind of old news, man. But yeah, Avaya Sakana, like, dude. Shin Hadi. Very, very nice. So yeah, I posted a, like a, a thing on her birthday. Because it was her birthday this month. That was kind of cool. And I was like, well, I gotta post something about this. It's Shin Hadi's birthday. I gotta post something about that. Oh, come on! Oh yeah, this always annoys me. I see people say this all the time. It's like, prequel people, the prequels are bad. Prequel fans, lol, yeah. People, the sequels are horrible. Sequel fans, ah! It's like, I, I don't know, it's, maybe it's just me, but I always see the complete opposite. Because I say, like, Revenge of the Sith is a bad movie. People are like, oh, you mean Revenge of the Sith is the best! It's like, it, I, maybe just in my point of view, it's the opposite. But it's just like, I really don't see it. That It's usually the prequel fans who are allowed annoying. The sequel fans are just like, can I like the sequels? And people are like, no, you're the idiot! It's like, I don't know. I really, I really don't see where this guy's coming from. But at the same time, it very well could just be that way. Where it's, you know, prequel fans always see the annoying sequel fans. And the sequel fans always see the annoying prequel fans. I don't know. Maybe we're all just making straw man arguments out of each other. Maybe it's all just Soy Jack and Ched. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's just the internet for you. Anyway, I'll show you guys this. I don't know if I ever showed this up. I got, like, the Stormtrooper mech minifigure. It's so silly. I love it. You know, you got, like, little Stormtrooper in there. You got, like, this big gun, this big, like, arm. It, it's so silly and such a stupid set. And I shouldn't like it, but I do. It's just so nice. I love this little thing. Love these little skits, dude. Keep up the good work. Yes, I will. The the Count Dooku video, that was funny. That one, I I, I, I don't think it was, like, my best work, but I still think it was enjoyable. Uh, and I got to make some some fun jokes in it. And it's just something I've always thought of, like... Because I'm still not really clear on what Count Dooku is. Like, it, does he actually care about the Separatist cause, or does he just pretend to care because he's working with Darth Sidious? It's never really been clear to me, and the Clone Wars never made it clear to me. Because some episodes, it seems like he actually cares about the Separatist cause. But some episodes, it's like, it seems like he doesn't. And I don't know. Love the Dracula reference. Yeah, I referenced Dracula. Uh, because if you guys didn't know, Count Dooku is a reference to Count Dracula. Yeah, I know, the names sound the same because George Lucas is super creative. Anyway, um, but yeah, George Lucas wanted to reference that. And if you didn't know, um, uh, Christopher Lee played, like, uh, 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 Dracula in, like, a ton of Dracula movies. I've only seen the first one that he was in. But that was pretty cool. Nice airplane reference. Oh yeah, I also made an airplane reference. Yeah, that's like one of my favorite comedy movies. It might very well be my favorite comedy movie of all time. It's so funny every time I watch Airplane. So yeah, if you're not familiar, that's where the don't call me Shirley joke comes from. So yeah, it's a very funny movie. You should watch it, definitely. How, how, how's that? Does that look good? I, I think it looks decent. Maybe I can like run the lights down the, there maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Dang, the movie got some banger lines. Yeah, the Lego Star Wars holiday special is so freaking funny. I've forgotten. Um, yeah, because it was it was Life Day, so I figured I may as well watch the Lego Star Wars holiday special. Um, yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> they came out in like 2020, I think, like November November of 2020. That was that was a while ago, but still, it's so funny. And I still can't like the, the I uploaded a, sh a clip from the movie in a short because I just wanted to share it. They like made fun of the Rise of Skywalker, which is kind of crazy to think like. It, w it hasn't even been a year since Rise of Skywalker came out, and they're already making jokes about it over there, the Lego animator or whatever they, they are. So, I found that super funny. Yay, a yellow lightsaber! Yeah, dude, I gotta show you this. Um, where is it? Here it is. Okay, so, ta-da! The, this is so cool, I love this little thing. Uh, the lightsabers are back here, you can have like a nice little place you can tuck them away in the back. But look at this, look at this nice display. I put some of the other figures, like the, uh, this is from last year's advent calendar. This is from a few years ago, it's the Vader. Vader with a Christmas sweater. I put him there. So yeah, it's just a really nice set and I, I really like it. It's a nice little life day display. But seriously though, I am so excited to finally have a yellow lightsaber. Cause like, I can't believe they never gave that us to us in a set. It's like, finally, finally we have it. So it's nice. Ooh, this comment, this comment has like deep lore guys. So basically I made a post showing off the set that I just showed you. 
and uh, someone's like, stop with the sequel sets. We all know the prequels was the only good trilogy, which is just stupid. We literally haven't gotten a sequel set in like two or three years now, but whatever. So I just say, absolutely L take, just, you know, to shut up. Um, apparently this guy replied, like, calling me the N-word. And I'm only finding out about it now because someone else showed me. Um, yeah, it, it's not here because YouTube deleted it, obviously. Um, but yeah, and it was just, it was just, yeah. The internet, I don't know what else to say. I love your videos, straight up to the facts, honest opinions, no filter, no fancy editing, very casual. You're quickly becoming one of my favorite Star Wars YouTubers. Thank you, yes, for complimenting me on all the things that I want to be complimented on. Um, no, it's just, I, I, th that is, you know, that's my style. I, I, I try to have a style with my videos. That's a lie, I just do whatever. Um, I don't know. So, I'm glad you enjoy them, that's what I want to say. Oh uh, yeah, so, d did I mention I kind of want to never make a video about Star Wars lore again? So I made a video about Star Wars lore, and how I don't really care about it. Um, and the thing is, I made the video about the Holden Maneuver, because I wanted to argue about that, because I've always, I don't know, go watch that video. Um, but then if, I got so many comments saying silly things like, oh, this dude's high on copium. When we, when we would we see this maneuver any other time? Literally every single battle went up doing this. Such an effective weapon, they would blah, 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 and I'm like, you listen to any of my arguments in the video? I, I literally talked about them in the video. And then you have, like, some guy re replying to me and saying, like, no, because you're recording in a mask, idiot. It's like... Sorry, I'm a Star Wars channel, and I wear a Star Wars helmet in my videos. Like, I know it sounds terrible on the auto quality. I know. I just don't care. Uh, I don't know. It, it makes me sound like a stormtrooper. I like being a stormtrooper, alright? And I like to have my YouTube life and my actual life separate. I, I don't want to, like, ever have... If this channel ever gets super crazy popular, I don't want to have to worry about getting recognized in public. I have crippling social anxiety. So, I don't know. It's just... I, 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 uh, not really though. Uh, I was kind of joking, but not really joking. I, I'm, I'm pretty antisocial, but I'm not like actually crippling social, whatever. Uh, so it's just like, I, I want to hide my face, okay? I'm not like, it's not like because I'm like a wimp or something. I don't know. It's just, why do people got to be mean to me, dude? Like, that, I don't know. Eh. No, that does not look good at all. Anyway. Anyway, so Ivana Sakano posted this photo of her and I recreated said photo. That was fun. Um, and then someone was like, who is that? And then, uh, Barrage 3 said, that's IR Smart, read the caption. Someone else then said, there is a selection of characters from the hit show Star Wars Ahsoka in Lego minifigure form. And someone else was like, they're asking about the girl, I don't think that's IR Smart. Barrage 3 once again was like, what girl? That's literally IR Smart. And it's like, this. So, thank you guys for, for trolling. You know, it, it, it's great to see. I love seeing interactions like this in my comment section. Yeah. But no, it is weird. I did get a couple of people, like, who genuinely thought... That picture of Ivana Scott was me. It's like, th they're two different photos. You think I would just take one photo with the helmet off and another with the helmet on? That's not what I look like. I don't look like a girl, guys. I don't know. I are smart, more like I are simp. And then I said, old habits die hard. Yeah. Yeah. Is that how you say her name? And have I been saying it wrong this whole time? Ivana Sakano, I think that's how you say it. I, 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 maybe? Someone correct me, please. I want to be saying her name right. Ivana Sakano, I think that's how you say it. Uh, here's another comment. I, I don't really want to go over it. I just, I don't know. It's just like, again, another person being like, oh, this scene makes no sense. And I make valid complaints. There's like a ton of these. I like, they, you just go through that comment section. I did that a lot because I genuinely wanted to like have a conversation with these people. Like, I, I was replying to a ton of comments because I'm like, hey, sure, that's a good point here, but consider this. I wanted to have these conversations, but a lot of them unfortunately did just evolve into you're an idiot. Not me, of course. I was trying to be civil as much as I could. But unfortunately, like, I would just. I don't know. I want to, like, talk about this stuff. I want to discuss it, you know? Because so much of it is, like, you talk about discourse in the sequels. It very quickly just evolves into, you know, oh, it's stupid. The whole thing's stupid. It doesn't make sense. It's like, okay, let's actually give it some thought. Let's actually try and find explanations for some of these scenes that people complain about. Like the Holdo maneuver. Ah, <sighs> Star Wars fans, I tell you, man. Ah, oh, and then, I, I, again, another annoying comment. Like, oh, is this guy hiding his face because he works for Disney? Uh, I'm getting called Disney shill again. Oh, it's so annoying, dude. I don't get paid by Disney, I kind of wish I did because I need the money. Ah, but it's like, no, I hide my face because I want to. Because I want to, that's why. Ah, I can't believe this is real. I'm shaking and crying right now. Yeah, I love adding real to stuff. I find that so funny. Because, um, I mean, obviously they didn't actually add Shin Hadi into Battlefront 2. But I thought it'd be funny if I'd like kind of said that they did, but they didn't. I don't know. Um, but seriously, though, why is modding Battlefront 2 so hard? Why does it gotta be so difficult? I gotta download, like, the, the, the Frosty Mod Manager, and then I gotta download Frosty Fix, and then I gotta open, because I have the Epic Games version of the game, and it's annoying, 
I mean, I got it for free, which I can't really complain. But it's like, I gotta open that. I gotta open Epic Games. Then I gotta open the EA app. Then I gotta, like, open this other thing. And then open another thing just to get this all to work. And I spent, like, a tire, like, couple hours. And I finally was able to get the game to launch with mods. It's like, holy, it's a whole thing. You don't care. We just need IR mod into the game now. Pretty simple. Just add a pink hoodie and a regular stump drawer. Make him 5'11 and some voice lines from the channel. That'd be pretty cool. Hey... Just put it out there, anyone who knows how to make mods, go ahead, it'd be cool. So, if, if any of you are feeling inclined, go ahead, you got my blessing. I'm actually kind of just asking, but I'm not willing to pay or anything, so like, if you want to make me a mod, that'd be kind of cool. Ayla Sakura in Battlefront 2 when? Why? N no reason. There is an Ayla Sakura mod. Uh, I definitely considered downloading it, but that was after I got all the mods working. And I was like, I'm not going to add another mod and risk starting the entire process over again. So, maybe later. Maybe we'll do another modded Battlefront 2 video and I'll just add more hot women into the game. It's not asymmetrical at all and it's going to bug me so much. But I'm just going to try not to think about it because I'm having so much trouble putting these freaking lights up, man. Anyway, uh, hashtag cancel Iris Barnes. No, guys, please. Don't cancel me. Look, I, I know I know, I said the C word, guys. I have to apologize. It was a heated gamer moment. I'm sorry. I did not mean to say the C word. I'm very, very, so please guys forgive me, all right? My, my most heartfelt apology, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't have a, I didn't have a C word pass. Uh, I'm sorry, I will do better in the future. I, I won't say clanker anymore. Gosh dang it! So brave of you to tell us you're actually a box of Legos. That's true. I very well could just be a, a, a bunch of Lego, you know, just constructed in a way that looks like a person wearing a Stormtrooper helmet. You, you guys wouldn't even know. Like, I could be Lego, and you guys would have no idea. I remember the audience kind of chuckled at those scenes. I think they now they knew they were not supposed to be laughing, but they did. George tends to revert to slapstick in most of his writing. Yeah, like, do you guys remember that scene in Revenge of the Sith where a little green frogman pushes an old man across the room and he falls back into his chair on his head and falls over? Yeah, that was a Star Wars movie. That's the one people say is the best one? What? I don't know, man. I, I've always found Star Wars to just be that kind of enjoyable. Not Like, I, I don't get me wrong. Andor and stuff, and like other parts of like Revenge of the Sith and stuff, it can get better than that. But still, it's like we take it a bit too seriously, guys. This is the movie where the space wizards put each other across the room, okay? You are literally the chillest Star Wars YouTuber I've seen. Almost all the other Star Wars YouTubers' content is them raging about something, criticizing Kathleen Kennedy, uh, and then they don't agree that some people have different tastes and just keep screaming about everything. Yeah, I, I, I that's what I want to be. I, 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 I want to be chill, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. In the past, I've not been like my Ahsoka reviews, um, but I don't know, man. It's just like, why is everyone gotta be angry all the time, man? Can I just be like chill? I don't know. Upvote for not using AI. It's not called an upvote. This isn't Reddit, but sure, whatever. Uh, but yeah, seriously, I I, I don't want to use AI in my videos. I actually kind of thought for a minute, like, should I just use AI to do a Padme voice? Because I can't do a Padme voice. But I was like, no, I'll just do it myself. It'll be funnier. And I don't like using AI voices because they're weird, all right? Some people, I, I, I just don't want to, all right? I don't want to use an AI voice. That's like a cheap, that's the cop-out version. Anyone can just download an AI software, all right? The camera stopped working again! Oh, it's back. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much trouble with this reading comments episode. This is going to be a pain to edit. I was thinking about a possible skit with this exact scenario a few hours ago. Am I psychic? You can see things before they happen. It's a Jedi phrase. Yeah, so, um, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, th again, with the Anakin and Padme video, this was, um, again, I was rewatching old videos. This one was, um, the, the one where I talked about sex in Star Wars. Because I'm working on a compilation video of all the best uh, moments from this year. So I did that last year, I'm going to do it again this year, and I've been working on that video, Best of 2023. And, uh, I was rewatching the video where I talked about sex in Star Wars, and that was a thing I mentioned, like, do contraceptives exist in Star Wars? H how did this whole interaction with Anakin and Padme work? And I'm like, I can make that into a meme video. So I did. And it was very funny. The line about red flags got me. Yeah, that was kind of a reference to another thing. Uh, basically, there is this one Lego animation. I don't remember which one. I think it was Droid Tales. Anyway, um, there, there's a scene where like Anik, where uh, like Qui Gon is like, "Hey, I should train this kid to be a Jedi." And then Watto appears and nowhere like, "Red flags, get your red flags here." And I've I've always found that to be funny. Um, so yeah, red flags. Steal her look. Pink ver vers 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 versace sweater, eight hundred dollars. Original Trilogy Stormtrooper Helmet, $2,000. Really? Wow. Uh, Gucci Sweatpants, $600. Lego Star Wars Evening Set, $30,000. I mean, the set isn't that expensive, but it was like $110, so... Lego is expensive, but if you want to get that expensive, you have to get sets from, like, the 70s. 
that get up to that much. Um, or just like Lego Star Wars sets from two of the eight for some reason get that expensive. I don't know. Um, so yeah, uh, it's actually really expensive, guys. My fit, like this Star Wars shirt that has a hole in it. Where can you actually see the hole? Yeah, it's got a hole in it. Or, or, no, can you see it? Can, you can't see the. There it is. There's the hole. Yeah, that's actually designer. That's it's supposed to be there. It makes the shirt worth like five thousand dollars. Same with the watch. This is like a bazillion dollar watch. It's definitely not a cheap watch made to look like a fancy watch. And this helmet. So freaking expensive, man. You don't even know. You can't even get it anymore. Let's get you to 4K subs. This was a good meme. Actually, um, yesterday I took this screenshot of like the comment, and then today we hit we hit 4,000. So, yay! Thank you, everybody. I'll put I'll put on my hat now. So, thank you for 4,000 subscribers. It's now the Christmas sea season. So, yay! Thank you for making December such a great month. You all, you all are awesome. Thank you for viewing, and thank you to those of you who are like, subscribe and stick around, because like, a lot of people just, you know, watch videos. And that's great, because it gives me ad revenue and stuff, but like, the, the ones who stick around and watch this content, you're the real ones. So, uh, again, thanks for reading, thanks for listening to me read comments. Anyway, bye. Did I forget something? I don't think I forgot anything. Okay, bye.